to perform. Uh, lots of great comedians showed up. So we were talking to them. We were showing the new stage, and we just went live for a few minutes. So uh, we were done. And so at that point, we're just hanging out, you know, to watch watch the show. And one of the owners of Governors comes up to me and says, uh, well, you're here. What, you know, you got to go up and do your set. Yeah. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. I said, it's been months. I only did it that one time. I said, and never in a million years that I think going there that there was even a remote possibility. I haven't, I haven't even looked at my stuff. So I was saying all this to him. He just said, nope, you're going up. And he walked over to the girl who was hosting the show. Michelle Fox is her name. <clears throat> and he went to her and he said, Michelle, put Tony down. He's gonna go. He's gonna go up there. She goes, oh, okay, great. She looks over at me. She goes, she goes, all right. She goes, you're gonna go next. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god. So I ran outside of this area where all the co- comedians are. I just went outside to this little area by myself, trying to remember the act because I'm going on. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember any of my stuff. I remembered like two jokes. So. Sure enough, and then I hear her say my name. Mm. I'm like, oh my god! Mm. I go out there. I was—I mean, th- probably the most scared I'd ever been performance-wise, and I blew it. I mean, I totally blew it. Mm. I couldn't remember mm. my jokes. I couldn't remember it. I said one thing. I don't remember what it was, but I said one thing that got a good laugh. The rest of it was just kind of speeding through because I was nervous and I was fumbling. Mm. I think I did three minutes. <laughs> I was just like, okay, buddy, there's a lot of comedians coming out. I'm going to get out of here and enjoy the rest of your night. And then it just ran off. So, uh, but now it's, it's given me the inspiration to get back up and redeem myself. So I'm, I'm going to, I got to start working on it again and get up there and show them that I can do this. But, uh, mm. so, you know, it, it's, but that's part of the life. You know, we, we've all done, we've all been a part of shows that didn't go well. We've all, you know, Every stand-up comedian tells me that, you know, you don't – bombing is part of the, the life. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to laugh it off, but it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't one of my better moments. But uh, but there you go. That's it. We made it through that. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. We're getting near to the end, and these are some of the questions I ask everybody. Do you think we all have an artist inside of us? Yes. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? How's that? <laughs> Long and short. Um, long and short. Uh, everybody enjoys being creative. Uh, whether some don't like to admit it, but mm. they do. Um, I think even I think you can even be an artist w- with a sport. You know. You know. I know. I know a lot of guys that feel even to this day. You know, I'm, I'm 50. I know a lot of guys my age that still feel it's a little too wimpy to be an actor. You know, as they think of it, it'd be in theater. <laughs> but no, I, I think even in sports, there's there's an art to that craft. So, yeah, everybody can be an artist. Absolutely. So now we ask advice for anybody wanting to be an actor or starting up a dinner theater group or <laughs> getting well, into stand up. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of things you could give advice on now. Don't go into dinner theater because <laughs> because I want to work. Uh-huh. So don't go into dinner theater. I'm kidding. Um, dinner theater. Dinner theater, um, you really... I, I would suggest doing, whether it's stand-up, some, some kind of comic, some kind of comedy performing first because you have to... The, know, the more you know comedic timing, the better you'll do with, with dinner theater. Mm. Uh, don't make your shows too long. Don't make them too involved because, again, the the bulk of your work will be birthday parties, corporate events, fundraisers where people just want to have fun. They don't want to think. They don't want to – they're drinking, so they don't want to really put on their thinking caps and really think too hard and follow a plot. They want to just have fun. So you got to keep it light. And if you really want to write, you know, something sophisticated, you got to find a different way of doing it. Uh, or just do it in a different type of theater, different type of outlet. Um, anybody wants to be an actor. Um, you know, my, my son, uh, I have a son who's in college. He goes to a school here on Long Island, Five Towns College. It's an art, it's a, you know, an art school. You're, you're, yeah, if you, you, if, if you spent any time on Long Island, you're, you're, heard, you're you heard about yeah, it. Yeah. Especially if you're in performance or in the arts. Um, he, uh, I, you know, a lot of people, and I'm sure you know a lot of people in the same boat. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people going to college that want to get into 
the entertainment industry, their parents will say, well, you have to have a plan B or you have to go to plumbing school first. Then you can maybe try this out. Um, with my son, uh, I personally feel if you if, if, if you want to get into something in the entertainment industry, you have to go for it first. Yeah. Um, if you're gonna, if you don't at least try, you're gonna wonder what if for the rest of your life, and it's gonna eat you up. You'll be because you'll you'll be asking yourself that question your whole life, and then you know eventually you'll start that full time job, and you'll start having a family, and you and you won't be able to keep you know you won't have the opportunities anymore because you can't take a day off work to go film be a background performer on a film for 50 bucks mm -hmm. you, you know you won't be able to do that so um so i i encourage my my son to, to do it uh give it a shot uh, and i told him i said you can live with me you know as long as you want rent free you know i'll support you as long as you're trying to make it as long as you're giving it your best you know i'll stick with you um mm. if he's not trying his best well then and you want to live, you want to work at Seven Eleven the rest of your life. Well, then that's fine too. But you know, but you ha I, I encourage them to go for it because again, you you're going to regret it the rest of your life. So, uh, and if you don't make it, okay, well, you know, you tried it out for a few years, it didn't work. All right, well, well, then let's put a plan B together at that time. I don't, I don't worry about a plan B. Uh, just give it your best. Hopefully, it's going to work somehow. <clears throat> uh, I personally think for my son. He, he wants his major was writing. He wanted to be a screenwriter, hmm. but he's been doing some background work, like uh, just camera work. He's been doing. He's been. Uh, he even he even got into the city doing some personal uh, assistant work, like you know fetching the bagels and stuff on TV shows. I, he he seemed to love that. I, I think personally, I just think he's going to love being in that field, even if it's not screenwriting, even if he's holding a camera for the, for his whole life. I think he's he he just he's just happy to be there, so and that's fine and that and I'm glad and you know he's now thinking about getting into acting a little bit, so again this is the time to do it. So, mm -hmm. you know if he's 27, you know and he falls in love but he wants to get married and decides he wants to you know buy a house and he wants to he wants to try the plumbing. Okay, well let's look into that at that point. Uh, but right now, you know, it's a hard field to get into, as you know. So you you got to give it all. You got to really give it all and bust your ass. So For sure. I'm not worried about a plan B. He's 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 going to be 20 in November. Um, so this mm -hmm. this is the time. This is the time he can mm -hmm. really just go for it. So yeah. go for it. Knock yourself out. So that's that's the advice I give anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, assuming they're young, you know. Uh, but even even now, in your older age, maybe you retire. I know plenty of cops who have retired, and they they then get into it. I know a guy that does pretty well doing commercials and stuff. Oh, He's a retired cop. He's 52 or something like that. You know, I, you know, if you're in a position to, and you're able to do it, yeah, I, I say, why not, man? Why not? That's some of the best advice. And I cool. definitely appreciate that you're encouraging your son because I think that's the key for young people that I hear it all the time. Well, you got to be a doctor. you got to be this. You know, their parents right. are always worried about what they're if they're going to make something, you got to be encouraging because absolutely, you may want something that they don't want. <laughs> right, that's great advice. That, um, that's all I got when I was a kid. That's all I got was you know what you got to make a living. You got to do this. You got to do right. that. And yeah, I didn't. I, that's a regret. Mm. Listening to that, yeah. But at least you're doing something about it. Um, how can people connect with you at Knock 'Em Dead Comedy and all its forms online? What are your social oh, cool. medias and connects? Uh, well, thanks for uh, thanks for giving me that chance to tell them. First off, um, knockemdeadcomedy.com. dot com. Um, Tony Walker, uh, yeah, Tony Walker on on Facebook. Uh, Knock em Dead Comedy on Facebook. Um, Knock em Dead Comedy Radio Show on Facebook. Govs Radio on Facebook <laughs> and govsradio dot com. Um, and uh, and and our show, most of our shows on Govs Radio are live. So, uh, you know, you're free to call in or just comment on the Facebook feed and most of the shows, including my own, we read the comments and we, you know, we encourage people to call in. We have callers from Florida. We have, mm -hmm. we have people from, um, we have a loyal following in England. Uh, no. we even have, we have, we looked at our analytics. We have two guys in, in Russia. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we're, uh, so yeah, we, you can find us and connect with us and we're available. 
Uh, and Knock 'em Dead Comedy, where we perform all over the place with our our dinner theater shows, our game shows. Uh, we've, like I mentioned earlier, we we've done the whole Northeast of the country, and if the money's right, we'll go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, we're available for your corporate event, your private parties, uh, your fundraisers. And again, thank you, Alex, for letting me uh, spread that word. I appreciate it. Of course. Got to support our fellow artists. That's what the show Absolutely. is all about. Cool. And the final question I ask everybody, why does art matter? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the deep um, question. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to be deep here, Alex. Mm. Um, well, I think. Mm. Mm. I've given this a lot of thought. Um, <clears throat> why does art matter? Well, because, well, guys like me sucked at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so, me too. Uh, why did, did yeah? I swung, I, I swung the bat and threw it. Oh, did you hit anybody? No. I no, didn't, and then, and didn't, even, didn't even hit the ball, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to hold on to the bat to hit the ball. Right? Yeah, you know, I got too excited there. <laughs> so, what kind of coaches did you have? Mm. Um, so, uh, why does art matter? Uh, it's, it's it's a great way to express yourself. Um, it's thought provoking. Uh, you know what? Uh, comedy. You know, for me, uh, there's nothing. I, I love performing in all types of theater, but at the end of the day, it's, it's about comedy for me, and it's about the laughter. So you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. It's that's an art. <laughs> it's an art, mm -hmm. and and without laughing and without something to keep you positive and smiling, well, then there, what's the point? Mm -hmm. So that's that to me. That's that's what it's all about. Just keeping a smile and and getting to meet new people and cool people and uh, you know without without the usual crap you see on the social media, fighting mm -hmm. over politics or any stupid ridiculous stuff like that. You know, yeah. just good times and smiling and laughing. To me, to me, that's art. Yeah, absolutely. Amen to that. Cool. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time to being on the Artist Matters podcast. Appreciate you, and uh, hey, keep laughing. We need more Keep of that. laughing, pal. I appreciate you, and I'm really, I'm thrilled that you asked me, asked me to come on here. This is great. See, that's a nice answer. Why does art matter? And his art matters because it helps you laugh, it entertains you, it makes you feel good. And I know from experience, I've been in dinner theater myself. It was such a blast. I didn't really know what I was getting into, and once I started doing it, it was so much fun to get new crowds of people and interacting with new members of the audience and letting them enjoy the show and get into it and laugh and fun and be part of our show in a way. And, you, you know, they're there to have a good time. And it's your job to put on the best show you can. They paid money to see it, and, you know, you're having a good time yourself. Just got to remember your lines and remember you're there to entertain people. And it's just a fun, magical time. And I'm so happy to hear that he is a parent that encourages his child, his son, to follow his passion in art. And I think right now it's acting, but I think his son really wants to be in the film business and he's trying things. And instead of discouraging him, he's encouraging him. Because he got the discouraging talk. Like, well, you got to have a plan B. You know, you can't just do acting. You got to have some kind of career. You got to have some kind of job. And I know parents are looking out for their kids. Or maybe they're projecting their fears on them sometimes. Could be either way. But I would definitely be remiss if I would to discourage my granddaughter from wanting to do anything creative. Anytime she's here, she wants to paint or dance or act silly, make a little music video, I'm right there with her. Why would I discourage her from, you know, channeling her creativity? <sighs> I'd be a hypocrite, right? And I have to encourage it because she has to express herself in this way. And I'm there right with her. And I want her to... I let her paint my nails. <laughs> I let her paint my fingernails and my toenails. Am I going to deny her that? No way. Let her create. It makes her happy. I'm going to let her do it. One of the things I really admire about Tony is that when an opportunity came that wasn't what he'd think he'd try, whether it be going into radio or attempting stand-up 
or even working as a background player in a movie or TV show, he would do it. 